Jerusalem. Vor 100 Jahren stand hier im Ölsen Herr Suchende Intendant Chris Johannes vor 45 Gläsern aus Kirchdorf, Lüneburg und Ölsen, um das erste Posaunenfest zu feiern. Hinten im Programmheft ist eine Abschrift von dem ersten Posaunenfestprogramm. Als erstes Stück wurde mit dem Herrn von alles an geblasen und auch heute dürfen wir durch Gottes Gnade nach 100 Jahren dieses Fest mit dem gleichen Stück anfangen. Möge unser himmlischer Vater dieses Fest an uns alle segnen.
als nächstes. Das ist ein köstliches Ding, dank dem Herrn. Ihr werdet sehen, dass einige Lieder, die wir heute Morgen blasen, auch damals geblasen wurden.
Jesus mit Leid und Anbetung. Achte, wie wir das in diesem Moment haben, und es war ein Gefahr.
war dann jetzt aus Eingang zum Gottesdienstblasen, das Stück, wie sie schaut, die Posaune. Auf der zweiten Seite, in der vierten Reihe, wird er das Alter lang beachten und auch bei der Fermate, der Alt, wird er herkommen. Ich würde hier einen sehr langsamen Zweischlag und gegebenen Auftrag weiter in den Wirkungsschlag. Einfach mal herkommen, bitte. Wenn man was, ihr seid gleich am nächsten Tag auch schon wieder dran, wir nicht lange Pause.
Grace, peace to you from God our Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Are you welcome here, Brass Band players? Welcome here, friends in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to this the 93rd Brass Band Festival of the Calcissa. Today we also remember with great joy and gratitude the first Calcissa Brass Band Festival that took place here at Wilson. 100 years ago in 1934. Here the watchword taken from Psalm 98, verse 6. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, make a joyful noise before the King, the Lord. I have often wondered what kind of music rang in the ears of those who first confessed these words. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, make a joyful noise. Probably not the music we will hear today, music composed by Mendelssohn, Bach, Pretorius, and so forth, and played on sophisticated music instruments, played by the brass band. Though I imagine the music more to be something of a stadium full, but who was there us? <laughs> and yet, back then, when these words were confessed, as will be today, a joyful noise before our King Jesus Christ, the Lord and Saviour, because the music back then, as also the music today, was shaped by God's actions, was shaped by the Word of God, was shaped by His salvific sacrifice in His Son Jesus Christ, the promise already given to those people in the Old Testament and then fulfilled in Jesus Christ. So as we play, as we sing today, as we play the instruments, the brass band instruments, it is uh, this our music be shaped uh, by the word of God, by His action, and then through His action, we will be a joyful noise. May God bless this service unto us all. Celebrate and call us 
to the eternal feast of joy, where there is forgiveness of sins, or for where there is forgiveness of sins, there is life and salvation. These dear God and players are the aspects that accompany your many efforts. Today, you are helped by God's word to once again reflect what the purpose is, what the function is, and what you do as you not only play an instrument, but as you accompany the Holy Word of God. And so to you especially, all that came from far and wide, our brass band players, from the Kosanen and Propheten Gläser, Eichen Hansen and Gruß, a hearty welcome to you all as you gather here today to play for us and to play with us, accompanying the Word of God. We especially also welcome and greet our brothers and sisters of our sister church, the Lutheran Church of Southern Africa, coming from Zion congregation near Egyptif especially, and also especially from our neighboring congregations, the neighboring congregations of the hosting of these congregations. A hearty welcome to them, and also to all who are here. Alle ein herzlichen Gruß. I am also called upon for practical announcements regarding the program and our facilities. I trust that the bulletin or program is generally available. Please note the proceedings as they are outlined in the Forest in Program, the reader upload of the subunit. Please also note that for all bilingual parts in the main service, that the congregation, according to local custom of the hosting congregations, the congregation as a whole, the rest of the congregation is called upon to sing the parts printed in bold. Nach der Gewohnheit der gastgebenden Gemeinden wird die Festgemeinde gebeten, um die, die Teile in Fettdruck, in Fettdruck mitzusprechen und zu singen gemeinsam. A translation of the sermon in German will be made available just before the sermon. It has already been made mostly available, but please take note that there is also a chance just before the sermon. Eine Übersetzung der Predigt auf Deutsch wird verfügbar sein. Der Lektor der Predigt ist aber auch schon einigermaßen ausgezahlt. Regarding the restrooms, the toilets in the church hall, maybe right next to the festival tent, these are reserved for the elderly, our seniors. The toilet for the disabled and those of special needs is a small permanent structure near the church. And the mobile toilets right next to that those are for the ladies. The gentlemen are invited to make use of the temporary facilities between the cedar trees and the wooden fence uphill from the festival tent. There are also toilets for ladies and gentlemen up at the school. You can find those when you walk down the alley next to the points of service for food and drink. The mother's room is the the room at the centre of the Olsen village, so the mother's room can be found there on the other side of the church hall. Children aged 3 to 9 are invited to depart for Sunday school after the creed. After the last weekend, the standard dinner from Arthur Bard is going to be from the last weekend to the kindergartens. That will be happening after the creed, just before the, sir, the song, before the sermon. Food and beverage are served at the Boon, as they are known here, or the garages. Please note the in and out signs at the points of service. The Divine Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, in His great mercy, as His trumpets and His whole instruments call us to judgment, to repentance, to forgiveness, to the peace of joy, he bless his great divine service to us all. Amen.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We now join in song and confess our sins to God our Father, coming before Him, acknowledging that we are poor miserable sinners looking for His mercy.
im Namen unseres Herrn Jesus Christus. Du aber, o oh Herr, erbarme dich unser.
Hear the Holy Gospel as it is written in Matthew chapter 24. As Jesus sat on Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when will these things be, and what will be the sign of your coming and the close of the age? And Jesus answered them, See that no one leads you astray. Continuing, he said, But the one who endures to the end will be saved, and the gospel of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. Then will appear in heaven the sign of the Son of Man, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn. They will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven and with power and great glory. And he will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call. And they will gather his elect from the four winds and from one end of heaven to the other. From the fig tree burn its lesson. As soon as it, its branch becomes tender and puts out its leaves, you know that summer is near. So also, when you see all these things, you know that he is near, at the very gates. Truly I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. The gospel of Jesus Christ is a power of God and salvation to all who believe in it. We confess our faith with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son. Thank you. 
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen. We hear God's word for the sermon taken from the prophet Joel, chapter 2. Yet even now declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning, and rend your hearts, and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love, and he relents over disaster. Who knows whether he will turn, not turn, and relent, and leave a blessing behind him, a grain offering and a drink offering for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, consecrate a fast, call a song of solemn assembly, gather the people. Consecrate the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children, even nursing infants. Let the bridegroom leave his room and the bride her chamber. Between the vestibule and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep and say, Spare your people, O Lord, and make not your heritage a reproach, a byword among the nations. Why should they say among the people, Where is their God? And the Lord became jealous for his land and had pity on his people. And the Lord answered and said to his people, Behold, I am sending you grain, wine, and oil, and you will be satisfied. And I will not no more make your reproach among the nations. This is the word of our Lord. Amen. Amen. Oh, we'll have some time now to everyone who wants a German manuscript of the sermon. Please put up your hands. There are quite a few available. It's good now you had some time to digest that way from Joel. <laughs> the call goes out like a trumpet. Repent. Turn back. Wake up. For the locusts are coming. In German, Heuschrecken. <coughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, I think in Zulu it's a stare. Joel, uh, if there is one thing the prophet Joel sees a lot of, it is locusts. If you read his uh, book, locusts appear almost in every chapter, and there are many of them. <coughs> locusts are the quintessential biblical plague. They come flying, creeping, and eating. And there are many swarms of them. They find the Garden of Eden full of life and growth, and they leave behind Gehenna, hell, desolation, as we read earlier in the chapter. They find beauty, goodness, and truth, and leave behind ugliness, evil, and lies. We also know, we are also familiar with these creatures from hell. They creep into our lives through the cracks left by sin. They ride on our evil desires, they thrive on the profanities we speak, 
probably because of that, they really love attending Bryce. <laughs> they climb through those many screens we spend our time looking at. They feast on our families and our relations to God and to each other. And we end up inviting and feeding them. <coughs> well, they grow fat on our egos, our love for money, our pride. The list can go on. Go read the Ten Commandments, the Weichspiegel and the Catechism, you'll find many places where they like to eat. They eat away at the institutions God has put into place to serve us. The family, the state, it is also the church. Places where you are supposed to find support and help sadly become places where you are hurt and abused. Well, these locusts are everywhere. When you go to vote, they look at you from the ballot paper. They eat the profits of your business. They come to steal, loot, and destroy. They are heartbringers or messengers of what the Bible calls the great and terrible day of the Lord. And the aspect that really makes this day terrible is that it is God sending these locusts. He uses them as instruments to visit the consequences of our sin on us and on our children. And we have all experienced such terrible days of the Lord. Days teeming with locusts. Days that robbed us of our health, our joy, our wealth, or even our loved ones. Days that left us empty and wanting. In the fullness of time, God Himself experienced such a day. In many ways, the greatest and most awful day of the Lord. On that day, He hung Himself on a tree, a fruit ripe for picking. And the locusts, they came. They came and they ate. They ate until they were full of the one who is the truth, is himself beauty, is goodness incarnate in the flesh. But they overate this time. The curtain in the temple can't hold the pressure any longer and tears in half. God rents his heart and opens it up for us poor miserable sinners to take taken out by the locusts. You see, while the locusts were doing their work, God was always preparing a feast for you and your children in the background, like those in the kitchen preparing lunch for us now. A feast of grace, a feast of forgiveness, a feast of loving kindness, a feast of life and of res resurrection. We are reminded of the feast the Father prepares for the prodigal son, in the parable that we heard in the Gospel reading, I think it was about two weeks ago, <coughs> from the Gospel of Luke. He had been planning it for a long time. There is joy, there is celebration, there is music. Every time God returns to you, returns you to His throne of grace, His loving embrace. In this way, Christ turns an awful and a terrible day into a great day. And a wonderful day of the Lord. Karfreitag, we say in German, or translated Lamentation Friday, becomes Good Friday for us. Now what do trumpets or brass band instruments have to do with all this? Let's go back to John. Besides his trouble with locusts, we do not know many things about Joel, historical things. But what we do know is that Joel knew the scriptures very well. His visions are saturated with quotations from other prophets and the Torah, the teaching of Moses. So what we have in Joel is musically speaking a theme that we find right from the beginning of time and from the beginning of scripture. God, the composer, makes use of several motifs as he builds the progression of this theme. We find them in Joel, we find them in the rest of Holy Scripture, we find them in the Catechisms, we find them in the theme given to this day. We heard it already, Pastor Marlon read it, but I'll read it again. You can also read it on your programs there. The trumpets of the Lord call us firstly to judgment, secondly to repentance, thirdly to forgiveness, and fourth 
to the Feast of Joy. This is the soundtrack of our life with God. And trumpets and horns do have an important part in this piece. We have heard it in the Old Testament reading from Joel 2. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Consecrate a fast. Call a solemn assembly. Gather the people. Consecrate the congregation. Assemble the elders. Gather the children, even nursing infants. Let the bridegroom leave his room and the bride her chamber. Everyone is called to this act of repentance. Not even your honeymoon is important enough to exclude you from this one. Early in the chapter we read, Blow a trumpet in Zion, sound an alarm on my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. It is near a day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and thick darkness. And in Isaiah 58 we read, Cry aloud, do not hold back, lift up your voice like a trumpet, declare to my people their transgressions, to the house of Jacob their sins. In his revelation to St. John, our Lord let seven trumpets announce the end of time. And I remember at Kinderlager, a kids camp, the annual kids camp of our church, that one was at Hermann's boy when I was still small. Well, Commandant Johannes used to walk up and down the passages early in the morning playing Corelle uh, corals on his Kulo horn and making sure we didn't oversleep after a long night, night plagued by mischief. <laughs> and researching locusts, I found that in some countries people chase or rather redirect locusts swarms away by making loud noises with drums and horns, for example in India. In Lineberg, where I grew up, our brass band would often play outside the church just before the service of confession and absolution on Sundays. Yes, our instruments have a role to play, also in calling us back, waking us up, turning us away from the locusts of sin, death, and the devil, from that which is evil, which is false and vile, back to Christ, to his forgiveness, his joy, his life, to that which is good and beautiful, to life in all its fullness. Let us dedicate and consecrate our instruments again to this purpose, that when they are heard, people in our congregations and in our communities might find their way back to Christ's forgiveness, this being the most important part, the light motif in God's peace. Then there will be celebration in heaven, and in that, we also join in. Pastor Johannes will tell us a bit more about that in the historical report and closing devotion this afternoon. With, what, with this, I have now reached my last stanza, my last repetition, and say, Amen. Let us pray to God. Almighty God and merciful Father, have mercy on us, poor sinners. When your trumpet call goes out, send it with your spirit. Let it cut us to our hearts, the very core of our being. That we repent before you, not just outwardly, before others as Saul did. Take away our hearts of stone and give us hearts of flesh, hearts of Christ, that beat for you and our neighbor. Help us to share the song with them that they, might, that they might live and together with us make a joyful noise to you. Amen. Vier Verse von diesem Gesang, nicht von den Hormonen angezeigt. Vier Verse, also vom vierten Vers bitte mit Oberste.
Christian Church has learned from its Lord Jesus Christ to pray. He teaches us not only to pray, but that God listens to us when we come to Him, when we seek Him. As a festive congregation, we are reassured that God listens surely to our prayers. So let us join in prayer in the certain knowledge and hope that God hears our prayer. We turn to God and pray in unison. I speak for us as we pray together. Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you that you tend after your church. We thank you that you have brought poor, miserable sinners into your church, that you have given them life through holy baptism, eternal life, and the promise that you tend after us. And so we pray that you tend after your church. By your Holy Spirit, gather, enlighten, and sanctify your holy Christian church as you continuously do. Reassure us all of the forgiveness of sins and keep us in your word. Keep it pure and unaltered. Keep it among your people that they may rejoice in these wonderful gifts that you keep us steady in your eternal promises and that you bring us to your eternal feast. Lord, we pray especially for the needs of your church. As you people we need your word, and we need those who serve us. Lord, resound the call again to, to men to serve in the ministry. Reignite among us the willingness and the desire and the joy to gather around your word, both those called to the ministry, those in ordained, and also those who gather in, in lay services around your word, that we joyfully Fulfill what you have called us to do. Lord, as your instruments resound, not only here, but all around the world, we ask that you rededicate them to your word, that they serve to accompany your word as it calls us to you, your judgment, to repentance, to forgiveness, and to the eternal feast of joy. Lord, let the call of judgment resound around the world, not just as a reminder that the day of judgment is coming, but that your judgment stands before us every day, that your word is clear, and that your will is certain, and it is not somewhere hidden in the clouds, but revealed to us in Holy Scripture, the mystery revealed in Christ. Lord, so resound your will to us. Show us the way of righteousness that we walk upon it every day of our lives. Resound again, not only through instruments, but through our voices and our hearts and minds, the call to repentance. That we see our sin, that we acknowledge it, that we fall on our knees, and that we repent, that we have sinned. Lord, open to us not only what we are used to acknowledging before you and one another, but those sins that we hide from ourselves and from others. What we are so prideful about, Lord, show us what we hide ourselves from. Show us our sin. Show us that we need you. That we do not build our lives on ourselves and what we expect, but that our lives are built on the eternal rock that is Jesus Christ. Lord, build us once more on this sure footing that we may live our lives not only in joy and in happiness as we often expect, but in certainty of the hope that we have an eternal life, that we have in Christ, that we have in forgiveness, even when life is hard, when it is miserable, when we are suffering, that we receive from you what we need. So ignite among <coughs> us the sweet gospel, the forgiveness of sins, that in the most difficult times of life, that we are filled with hope, that our heart is filled with a joy that is not from here, 
but from you and your internal involvement among men. Lord, as you let your words sound out to all the people, calling them, call them to your feast of joy. We so easily find joys in our whims and hopes, our desires that are built on our humanity. Lord, as you reshape us by these calls that we dedicate your instruments to today, so we ask that you fix our eyes on the eternal hope that we receive in the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Fix in us the eternal hope so that it resounds to others that your word is spread and your church grows among us and we may feast on these fruits here and forever. Lord, we lay our country in your hands. We pray for our government, especially as the elections have recently happened and we have a new government. Lord, but also our entire country. But the things we enjoy and the things we hate, the things that make us happy and the things that we look at every day and that make us very angry and resentful. Lord, please tend after us all. Turn our hearts, but also guide those who lead us, that they may serve for the good of all, for peace, for unity, but especially that all who live in this country may be turned to you. Tend after us all, Lord, especially now as people are journeying far and wide for this special event. So care after them, not only in their bodily needs, but also in their souls. But as the most tragic things happen on the roads, that we are fixed on the eternal hope and comforted when good and bad things happen. Lord, as it is cold, as we are in the midst of winter, so reignite in us the hope of the sun that is eternal in Jesus Christ, that we might provide blankets for those who are cold, reminding us of the blanket of your forgiveness. Lord, tend after us all in this, in this winter, especially when fell fires are threatening and are truly keeping many busy. We, we pray that you tend after our possessions that you have entrusted to us. Tend after us as you tend after these things that you have given us. Protect both life and possession. Lord, we pray for all who are frail, who are disturbed in their mind or thoughts or in their faith, who are in difficult trials. In whatever trial we, a person is thrown into and the difficulty they are going through as they might be sick or their own treatment, we lay them in your hands. Lord, you look in every, into every heart that is here, turn after them all and fix them in them the assurance that you give us through your word that in Jesus Christ there is life and salvation. Lord, we thank you for all who have departed before us as witnesses of Christ, of witnesses of the eternal hope that we receive through Holy Scripture. So remind us again by the call that resounds here that you come very soon to come and gather us all for the Feast that has no end. Feast of the Lamb in your kingdom. Give us the joy that grows out of this. Lord, you know all that we need, and we lay this all into your hands as your people, trusting in Christ Jesus, that you hear us through him, our Lord, who reigns with you and, and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil.
You may be seated.
you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace.
Blasen zum Abschluss von Gottesdienst noch zwei Stücke. Das erste, Ehre und Preis sei Gott dem Herrn. Ich dirigiere halbe Not aufgeschlagen. Thank you. 